no one is listening. Love like you'll never be hurt. Dance like no one is watching. Live like it's heaven on earth. It's my very favorite saying, and nothing speaks truer than that on your wedding day. What if I trip and fall on my face, Hope? Then you will still live happily ever after. And you'll have a great story to tell your grandkids. <laughs> None of my couples have ever missed a dance step. You're good, Vivian. We've spent countless hours in the studio together. We've got this. Now go get your husband, married lady. All right, let's dance. <laughs> Lady always curtsies after an exceptional performance. <laughs> that was perfect. Okay, now find your parents, but don't forget, practice, practice, practice. The wedding is only a couple weeks away. Really good job out there. Great work. See you next time. <laughs> well done. You are so good with them. I know I'm leaving my studio to the best of care. Well, it's not mine yet. I haven't been approved for the loan. In any case, it'll all work out. Because that's what happens when something's meant to be. It all works out. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who's getting married? Well, it is Saturday, so probably a lot of people. I guess my invitation got lost in the mail, huh? Hmm. But this didn't. I know, I just found it laying around outside. Is this what I think it is? Well, it's not a million dollars, if that's what you're thinking. <sighs> Tickets to the opening of Love in Kimball Park. This is better than a million dollars. Ticket. I can only get you one. Sorry. Are you crazy? I would stand for the whole thing. This is the hottest ticket on Broadway. Well, it's lucky you have some fancy connections then, huh? One fancy connection. Yeah, that's all it takes. I can't believe I get to finally watch you dance on Broadway. I can't believe I'm actually going to dance on Broadway. It all still feels so... so surreal. <laughs> I should get to rehearsal. But I will see you opening night. Come back stage after. I'll put you on the list. Wouldn't miss it. She couldn't get one more ticket for your sweet old ailing mother. Please, you're healthier than all of us combined. She could barely get me a ticket and I'm her best friend. I'm just so thrilled for Cassidy. Me too, that's what she's always wanted. That well, was your dream too, once upon a time. I know, it was just so hard putting my heart and soul into every piece and always coming up short. So I am on a wonderful new path. And I'll still be choreographing, just in a different way. What could be better than that? Well, Dad and I are proud of you no matter what. You've had to make some tough decisions this past year. Some more difficult than others. Have you uh, talked to Peter? I don't think he wants to talk to me. You know, he texted me. And despite everything, he misses you. Peter was perfect on paper. The reality was different. I just couldn't go through with it. it has to be right. Like you and Dad. You did the right thing for both of you. And who knows who you're going to meet in the next phase of your life? I still don't think I'm quite ready to start dating yet. What with buying the new studio, that's where my focus needs to be right now. 
true. And you're gonna be so busy, you should probably give me the ticket to see Cassidy's show. You're shameless, you know that? <laughs> I should be on the list. Uh, no. Um, my friend is in the Excuse show. Me. Excuse me. Don't bother. He doesn't care. Who is he guarding? Is Rihanna inside? <laughs> Could be. I've never seen a stage show this crowded. Hi, right, Mr. Gunderson. Oh, I'm not on the list. I just need to go backstage and say a quick hello to Carlos Ruiz, the writer. Please, follow me. Um, hold on a second. Uh, are you two together? We're not. Okay, well, nobody gets in whose name is not on the list. Well, he just told you he's not on it. He's verifiable. Well, my last name might not be Gunderson, but if you could take two seconds to call backstage, you would find out that I am also verifiable. Do you see all these people waiting? How about I just run inside really quickly and you two sort this out amongst yourselves? Yeah, of course, Mr. Gunderson. Um, no, Mr. Gunderson. Now, I might not have the name recognition, but I hope you don't think that your time is more valuable than mine, do you, Mr. Gunderson? I am so late. Well, you should try better time management. Excuse me, if you could just let Cassidy Tyler know that her friend is waiting outside, Mr. Gunderson will happily wait his turn. You heard the lady. Please, let's get on that radio. Then, hopefully, I will not be late to meet my fiance. Would that be acceptable to you? Absolutely. Oh, amazing. Mm, thank you. I was so nervous. I, I couldn't stop shaking. You couldn't tell. And you have plenty of time to get over those nerves because you get to do it all again tomorrow night. Oh, I know. I want to introduce you to Vanessa Curson, the choreographer. Uh-huh. She's one of the best. She is, and she's looking for an assistant for our upcoming show in London. I know, I know what you're going to say, but I think you should submit your resume. Your styles are so in sync. I've been down this road, and I know how it ends. I'm on a different path now, and that is the studio. Just say hello to her. Make a connection and see. Like, it, it couldn't hurt. Uh, Vanessa! Uh, <laughs> Tell me these nerves will subside. Usually by show three. OK. <laughs> uh, this is my friend, Hope Mays. Oh, hi. hi. She's also an amazing choreographer. Oh. Well, more of a teacher now. I'm in the process of buying a dance studio on 71st oh. and Park. And she's choreographed some amazing regional theater. Oh, I got my start in regional. Where might I have seen your work? Uh, nowhere recently. Just learning the ins and outs of how to run a studio. That's what I've been focused on lately. You know, you guys should talk about the London gig. Hope would be great for it. She also studied under Jacqueline Maurer in college. Jacqueline was my mentor when I first got started. What did you get on her final? A 93. And 93, she must have liked you. <laughs> Send me your resume. I'd be happy to take a look. Cassidy has all my information. It was really nice meeting you. You too. See? You always throw your hat into the ring. And hope they don't throw the hat back. Oh, well, you better submit your resume, or this friendship is over. And I mean that. As I used to hear at almost all of my auditions, I am going in a different direction. <laughs> wow. Well, um, is, is, is that? Yes. She's even more good looking in real life. You think we should go over there? You know, like I'm just gonna casually introduce you to Carlos, or? Don't bother. Eric Gunderson is entitled and engaged. Wait, 
How do you know all that? Long story. And as you all know, now that uh, we're retiring, my son Eric and Max's daughter Adriana will be taking the reins and, and guiding this firm to the next level. It's time to pass the torch while keeping our respective legacies in the family. Our fathers founded this investment brokerage almost uh, 80 years ago. I've been working here since I was 15, and uh, Eric joined the staff after graduating college. As did my daughter. And now with the recent announcement of Eric and Adriana's engagement, it's the perfect marriage of the professional and the personal. And we're very excited to see what the two of you can do together. We promise to do right by you. Uh, of course, Gavin will continue in his role as uh, chief operating officer. We couldn't do it without him. And don't worry. You're all invited to the wedding. <laughs> it should be quite the affair once our wives get their hands on it. You know. <laughs> knock, knock. Sorry to barge in on you in the middle of a work day, darling. I know you're busy, but we have an appointment. What appointment? I don't have anything on the calendar. What is all this? Plans, clippings, a blueprint, if you will. Time is short, Eric. Planning a wedding is a huge undertaking. I get that, Mother. But Adriana and I are in the middle of taking over the company. Well, we have to get started if we want to be ready for a June wedding. We only have two months. OK, so we have an October wedding. Adriana's always wanted to get married in Central Park. Don't be silly, darling. Society weddings happen in June. Plus, the hotel had a cancellation. We have some ideas as well. Great. Well, her mother is on the way, as is our wedding planner, Dinny. Now, she's very much in demand, so we have to work around her schedule. She planned the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Caldecott. Really? That's the highest level of royalty you could find, huh? Oh, don't be cute. You know I only hire the best. Thanks for switching to this morning. I have a new private client tomorrow, a wedding couple. Well, it is wedding season. I have like three invitations already. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. You can talk about weddings around me, Cass. I'm the one who called mine off. Well, I know, but you and Peter would be celebrating your first year anniversary right about now. It's fine. Peter and I, we just didn't speak the same language. I need someone who inspires me. I get that. I, I know that Peter wasn't right for you, but I don't know, I just don't understand. What don't you understand? Well, you're supposed to let go of the things that don't work in your life. And Peter was one of those, but your career isn't. I'm not giving up on my career, I'm just altering it. When the thing you love most in the world is your constant source of rejection, it's time to reassess. I'm just tired of being disappointed. Yes, I can see path. those Isn't together. That pretty? Now, I need those names and addresses pronto if we want to get that save the date out this week. We'll get on the head count, but just to be safe, I'd order 400. 400? We were thinking something a little more intimate. We know it's your wedding, but it's also a coming out of sorts for the business. It's Gunderson and Grimes, the next generation. Our clients are our friends, you know. Well, that's true. And they'd find out if they weren't invited, since the Times is featuring us in the wedding section. Very big spread. <laughs> They're even sending a photographer to L.A. for your dress fitting, Adriana. Okay, I get it. Uh, is that all? Oh, Eric and I have a conference call. Um, just one more thing. Um, Eric, <laughs> you remember high school cotillion? Do you want to repeat of that? No, he does not. I do not. Good. Because I signed you both up for dance lessons starting tomorrow. Incredible teacher, I'll email you the address. You'll be Fred Astaire by summer. Hmm. Beautiful job, ladies. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh? Hi, I'm Adriana. Yes, Sophia told me to expect you. So good to meet you. I'm sorry, my fiance is running a bit late, but he just texted me. He'll be here soon. Okay, well, let's just head on over here. You can put your things down and tell me a little bit about your experience. 
All Sophia's told me is that we're short on time and it's urgent. Well, she's not exaggerating. I have a good 12 years of dance experience under my belt, but my fiance is what you might call rhythmically challenged. Well, I've had great success with the rhythmically challenged. That's good to know. Our mothers want performance level quality, as if that's the key to a lasting relationship. They're also on the board of the New York City Ballet, and they are dead set on a waltz. Well, we'll get you two in good shape. I am so sorry. I was with the client, and he would not stop. You. Hi. You two know each other. Yeah, we've met. But Mr. Gunderson and I got off on the wrong foot. Yeah, I, uh, I apologize if I was rude. It won't happen again. Fine. Well, we should get started because we've got two months and a lot of ground to cover. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Wrongfoot. Dance with me. <laughs> Step right and front and right. <sighs> Sorry. This is cotillion all over again. You can do this, Eric. You're good at everything. It's really annoying sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, then you should be thrilled that I can't seem to get my brain to connect with my feet. Let's try it again, slowly. What do you think? Are we completely hopeless? Not at all. I have had far more challenging clients. So what do you suggest? Two, maybe three lessons per week. Get down the basics, and then I'll choreograph something for the two of you that suits you. It'll be perfect. I was hoping two or three lessons in total. It's a very busy time for us right now, especially when the stock market is open. Due to our regular classes, mornings are when we meet with our private clients. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of 400 people. That's 800 eyes watching me, judging me. No one's judging you in here. What if you came in on your own until you were comfortable? Isn't the whole point for us to learn together? Just for the basics. I'll cover things at work and come and go as needed and and then when it's time to learn the dance, I'll make myself available. Twice a week? Maybe three times. Are you sure you don't mind holding down the fort? Alone while I'm here? We pick up the slack for each other, Eric. Besides, Gavin will step up. You can do it. You're a man of many talents. <laughs> if only dancing were one of them. Okay, tomorrow, 11 a.m., please be on time. the floor. All right, chin up at him. And turn. Very nice. And dip. Not a dry eye in the house. You guys are ready for the big day. Thanks, Hope. And please feel free to bring a guest on Saturday night. I cannot wait to watch you walk down the aisle. You gonna turn me into that? I'm gonna try. Only time will tell if I succeed. 11 a.m. on the nose, very good. I didn't want to subject myself to your wrath again. My wrath? I suspect your bark is worse than your bite, but you can be quite scary when you want to be. Only when people behave as if my time isn't valuable. I'll see you two Saturday night. Bye, Hope. Thanks again for everything. Look, I'm not your favorite person. I get that. I am really sorry about the other night. That's not me. I mean, not usually. It's just that play, it blew me away. I was still thinking about it the next day. I agree. It was everything the theater should be. Right? And Carlos is incredibly talented. I knew that after I read his first play, Highest Crimes. Yeah, I put up the money as a favor, but it was one of the best experiences of my life. I would stand in the wings and I'd watch the audience's reaction. You invested in a play. Why do you look so surprised? I don't know, I just sort of had you pegged as a Wall Street, finance, numbers kind of guy. Judge a book by its cover, you might miss out on a good story. Okay, tell me the story. Okay. In a nutshell, I'm not as stuffy as I might seem. Physical activity tends to come relatively easy to me. What I lack is that little thing called rhythm. I know it well. I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of New York society. I did that once years ago. So, what do you say? Can you help me? I know I can.
important to remember on the dance floor, it's all about feeling. Don't think about what you look like. Why not? Everyone else will be thinking about it. <sighs> okay, relax your arms. You're not in a suit of armor. Mm -hmm. Relax. Okay, now you're a noodle. Better, okay? We're going for strong and confident, yet relaxed. I'm a Gunderson. Relax is not our natural state. We're gonna have to work on that. Well, don't tell me you haven't been warned. <laughs> I can see I'm gonna have to think outside the box with you. Now, let's do this. This foot, out, together. Same foot, move back, mm -hmm. together. And this foot, out, together. Good job. Same foot, front, mm -hmm. together. gone over the financials for the studio, and it looks like the income would far exceed the monthly mortgage payment. That's great. Um, so what would be the next step? Well, you fill out this application, we run a credit check, our underwriter reviews it, signs off on the loan, and then you become the owner of a dance studio. I'll be the owner of a dance studio. To the longtime clients, the old money crew, they're creatures of habit. They're used to the way your fathers do business. What if we were to give some sort of dinner to present the new investment strategy? Maybe a Jacques Bouchon. No one walks away when you put that caviar in front of them. So maybe Eric. He hates caviar. What do you think, Eric? Hmm? Sorry, it's, it's Carlos. Gavin, can you believe she didn't want to go to the best play on Broadway with me? A little bit. Come on, you know me. Theater isn't my thing either. Well, it's your loss. I'd much rather go home at the end of a long day and open a nice Pinot and read Business Week or The Economist. You know, I bet you already do that every night. I bet you do too. I'm sorry to interrupt, but if we're going to have these dendrobian orchids flown in from Thailand, decisions need to be made now. Whoa, well, you can't have a conversation with a giant monstrosity in the center of a table? A beautiful monstrosity. Do you want to take care of the flowers, Eric? I'm happy to scratch one thing off my list. Can we get something smaller than the Chrysler building? Sure. Change of plans, Danny Eric will be taking over the florals. Make sure they fit with our colors. Tell the florist to sell it on blue and foam. No, 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 that's not what I meant. No, no, I will leave it in your capable hands. It's your wedding, after all. I will leave you to this fun, and I'm gonna call Jacques Bouchon about a tasting for the client dinner. Oh. Make a reservation for all of us, Gavin. Jacques Bouchon's perfect for the rehearsal dinner. Mother, don't drag Gavin into our wedding planning. He's already got enough on his plate. No, I don't, I don't mind at all. You're a dear. All right then, moving on. So what do you think of laughter? No, we don't. No? No. No. May I please speak to Eric Gunderson? This is Hope Mays. Hello? Twitter three. Hope? So, you know how they said me to think outside the box? I know, and I'm terrified. <laughs> Are you and Adriana available to meet me Saturday? She's going to LA this weekend to meet with the dress designer, but I guess I can move some things around. That works. You're the one who needs this anyway. I'll text you the details. Our next lesson is going to be a bit unorthodox. I can't wait. Tuxedo, I do have to say I'm impressed with the extent to which you follow instructions. You said formal attire, and I don't do anything halfway. <laughs> if you ever need to doubt it, there's a million songs about it since I you to watch the bride and groom. Isn't that the whole point? Not for you. Take in the faces of everyone watching. The maid of honor, the parents of the bride. Best man's had a little too much champagne, so let's bypass him. <laughs> Pure joy on everyone's faces. They're all here to celebrate the beginning of this journey. 
Not a single person cares about the performance. Life isn't about appearances, Eric. Yeah, but that's the thing. When you live your life in the public eye, it sort of is. You have to let that go. That's what this is about. Love. They're surrounded by it. They're in it. Once we focus on true love, then everything else falls into place. It will okay, you've had your cake, now it's time for our lesson. I thought this was our lesson. I kind of feel like I'm nailing it. <laughs> If only my job were cake, but I am being paid right now to teach you to dance, and I take that very seriously. Well, I am not just eating. I'm researching. I'm checking out flowers for my wedding. I inadvertently took on that task. You don't have a wedding planner? Yes, but somehow I got stuck doing flowers, as if I know anything about flowers. And the wedding planner insists that everything at this wedding make a statement. What kind of statement? Yeah, I can't be sure, but I think it's, look how much money I cost. <laughs> That's why you hire a good florist, and they will narrow down your options to your personal preference. You want to know my personal preference? Centerpieces that are less than nine feet tall. I actually have the perfect person, and it's by the studio, so I'll bring you by next time you're there for a lesson. And that's not really part of your job description. Happy to help. You seem a little in over your head on this one. Oh, I am way past that point. OK, problem solved. Stop stalling. Let's dance. Up this one. <laughs> so good. Into my eyes. We're not going to worry about the steps right now. We're going to get you comfortable on the dance floor. I try to avoid dance floors whenever possible. Dance floors and forest fires both are like natural disasters to me. So what happened at Cotillion to make you swear it off? Paige Jeffries. She was the most beautiful girl in Parkwell Academy. And I was dancing with her up on a stage. And I tried to impress her with some fancy moves. And I let us both right off the edge. Oh, no. I only sprained my ankle, but she broke her nose in front of everyone. It was humiliating. More so for my family. Paige's dad was a big clan, was being the operative word. Well, there's no stage in the ballroom, so the chances of a repeat performance are slim. <laughs> have you met me? You should have seen those two when they came to me. Nothing but left feet. Hmm. Have you always done weddings? Wedding choreography is part of the job. Before that, I did regional theater in the tri-state area, before auditioning for the big jobs. Hmm. Well, why don't you do it anymore? You're clearly very talented. I would have paid money to watch those two perform. Well, my dance card is rather full at the moment with one Eric Gunderson. <laughs> well, I'll try to be a quick study so you can get back to the fun gigs. <laughs> because you are good at this. I think you're gonna see some improvement. I almost got him comfortable on a dance floor last weekend while you were gone. But you'll be there with us on our wedding day, right? If you want me to be. We, we do. do. Don't mind us, we're not even here. This gentleman is from the Times for our feature about the wedding. He's just gonna take a few pictures. Yes, keep doing what you're doing. Okay, remember what I said about people watching? Right. Uh, eye contact with your partner, block everything else out. That's right, block us out. Uh, try to get them in the fancy poses, sort of a taste of what's to come on the big day. <laughs> we haven't really worked on the fancy poses yet. We're still working on the basics. So chin up, strong arms, and right and back. Darling, she's not under quarantine. You can hold her closer. I thought he was improving. He is, a lot. Is he gonna be ready? We don't have much time. We'll be ready, Mother. We know how important this is. We've got this. Now take the pictures and let us finish, okay? Why don't we do the dip? Oh, that would make a lovely picture. Sorry. <laughs> oh. 
Don't worry, we've only just begun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So tell me one little thing about Eric Gunderson, now that you had a few lessons with him. You know Sophia doesn't like me to talk too much about our clients. I'm not asking for their social security numbers. I just want to know if he's still an entitled jerk. He's not at all how I thought he'd be. I actually like him and Adriana a lot. Really? So how's the show going? <laughs> You won't believe it. I get to understudy the lead in July when she goes on vacation. That's incredible, Cass. Did you ever submit your resume? Look, I don't deny that choreographing has always been my favorite part, but I'm on to a new venture, and it wouldn't really make sense for me to go to London right now anyway. But it's London. So? <laughs> okay. I'm having Gavin put together some numbers, and we can bring it to the board as our first official decision in charge. You really love this. <laughs> I do. It's what I've been working towards since college. Yeah, I know. But I feel like we're not doing anything that meaningful. We're transforming financial portfolios. I think our clients would tend to disagree. We're giving people financial security. And I love that about it, but I just like to be a part of something that makes people think. Something that's actually transformative. Good financial news is transformative. For me, too. But are you happy? I am. Everything's going according to the plan. The business is ours. The wedding's going to be perfect. We're getting what we want. Yeah. We are. Good, you're here. I want to go over all the payroll information with you so that when you take over, there'll be no lapse. Sure. What is the status of the loan anyway? Um, I'm waiting to hear. Wonderful. Because I received a call today. Somebody else is interested in the studio. But I'll tell them no. No, don't do that. I mean, what if I don't get approved? Are you having second thoughts, Hope? There'd be no shame in that, but I do need to know soon. No, I just, I don't want you to miss out on the opportunity if I don't qualify, that's all. Is there any way to hold them off for a bit? Yeah, for a little while, I suppose. Thank you for doing this. I know it's not on the official dance lesson plan. Well, it's still wedding adjacent. Now let's go meet this florist, because tomorrow I'm going to start teaching you the actual steps. Oh, that's great news. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look in the book, see what you like, and then you can customize it anyway. There's a cat in a flower shop. This is Lulu. She's kind of the mascot here. <laughs> I'll help a guy out here, Lulu. Irises or lilies? Hmm? I know, I have no idea either. <laughs> Notice your arms? How are you holding her? Cradling her gently with nothing but affection? That is how you hold your dance partner, mm. your bride. You're not thinking about what it feels like or where your arms go, just are. Sometimes we have to be reminded not to think. So how do you know this florist and her cat so well? I hired her for my wedding. You're married. Supposed to be a year ago, but I called it off a few weeks before. Oh, I imagine that was hard to feel misunderstood by your partner. Everything was measured by him. He was so afraid to make a mistake that he didn't want me to make any either. And do you make a lot of mistakes? I try not to. <laughs> There's this assistant choreography job in London. I could send in my resume and further subject myself to potential rejection, or I could commit to buying the studio, which is a really good option. I had this professor in college who used to say life's a gamble, so make it interesting. He even made us write our own bios. So what do you want your book jacket to say? I guess I'd want it to say she was brave and had no regrets. Oh, and she never aged. <laughs> okay, so there's the choice. Mm, if only it were that simple. Here's the story of Hope Mays. She could have gone to London, <laughs> tea at the Ritz every day, tour in the National Gallery in her days off, but, oh, she'll never know. 
because she never submitted a resume. I guess you could say that we're sort of in the same boat. How so? Carlos has this new play. It's about vets returning from the war, and he wants me to produce it, not just finance it. And it's really incredible, but uh, with the business, it's... Here's the story of Eric Gunderson. He could have produced this juggernaut, changing lives in its sixth season on Broadway and printing more money than the U.S. Mint, but he passed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So what do you say? You submit your resume and I talk to Carlos and see if I can juggle both. So is the tea at the Ritz really good? There's only one way to find out. Attaching resume, hat, meat ring. Four and dip. Good job. Change your shoes. I feel like I'm making progress, right? You're making great progress. <laughs> Hello? Hope, it's Vanessa Curson. Hi, Vanessa. So I was looking over your resume last night. You choreographed Borrowed Magic for the Connecticut Playhouse. That was a great show. You saw it? I never understood why I didn't make it to Broadway. Listen, I would love for you to put together an audition piece for me. Really? <laughs> yes, really. I'll email you the music file and all the details. That would be great. Thank you. She wants me to put together an audition piece. And you almost didn't send your resume. So? How do you feel? Conflicted. I love the idea of telling a story without words, so that's exciting. But? There was this job about a year ago to choreograph this dance tour, the best dancers in the business. The job was mine. I was so sure. And then it wasn't. And I just got so tired of hearing how talented I was, but here's a hundred reasons why we didn't pick you. And that's when the opportunity to buy the studio came along. I understand that, but doesn't this seem like a second chance? It just feels like I have one foot on each side of the fence. I know how that feels. I studied theater and finance, dual major. Yeah, it can make your head spin a bit, but one was for me and one was for my dad. Finance one? I guess you could say that. But after I read Carlos's first play, I knew I had to be a part of it. And those were some pretty great coattails to jump on my first time out. Carlos is taking off. And he wants me to come along with him. So what's the problem? Adriana, she gets more excited every day about taking over the business. And as we get deeper into it, I'm conflicted. There's so much I want to do, and none of it happens in that office. I think you just sound like someone who has to pick a side of the fence. When you said you had the perfect location to make a dancer out of me, I was thinking like a nightclub or something. You thought wrong. I'm not sure how Central Park comes into play. You'll see. Come on. Take off your shoes and socks and roll up your pants. We're going in there? OK. First, a stranger's wedding, and then a cat in a flower shop, and now the pond? Mm-hmm. Are you Mr. miyagi in me? Don't underestimate it. Mr. Miyagi led the Karate Kid to a big win. It's time to let appearances go. You've got to be tired of those fancy shoes anyway. You know, I was taught that rules are there to be followed. What rules? I don't see any signs anywhere saying don't enter the pond. Some rules are unspoken. Sooner or later, you're going to learn. It's best not to argue with me. Oh, no, I got that. Get in, Gunderson. Well. Wow. 
Look at the water. It has an ebb and flow. It's impossible for it to be rigid, which is the opposite of you. <laughs> you need to learn to be the water. All swimming upstream gets you is some very tired arms. Like the water. Ebb and flow. Ebb and flow. Try the first eight count? Yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Sorry. <laughs> you make this really fun. It's because there's no pressure. You can just be you. Okay, we are ready for Adriana to come back in. All right. Yeah. Wax on. <laughs> Wax off. I am so sorry I'm late. The dress arrived and then I couldn't get a cab. It's been one of those days. That's okay, we were just rehearsing the beginning. Did you get the video I sent? Yes, watched and memorized. This dress is huge, much bigger than the sketches the designer showed me. I don't know how I'm going to dance in it. We'll need to do a dry run. You want him to see you in it? No. <laughs> we'll kick him out and give it a twirl around the studio. I always think that's a good idea. You don't want the first time you dance in it to be your wedding day. Well, I'm not so sure how I feel about it anyway, so if I can't dance in it, then it definitely has to go. I look like a giant marshmallow, don't I? I swear, I was pressured into this by my mother. She thought it would photograph well. I think you're the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. Really? Turn around. So we use this loop to hold up your skirt while you're dancing. Now, try the first few steps. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Everything has to be perfect, right down to the napkin rings, which are being flown in from France. We don't have good enough napkin rings here in America. Everything is about the optics. How we are perceived is how the business is perceived. It's intertwined. Well, as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. I wish I had time to enjoy it more, but... How does Eric seem to you? Fine. I mean, this doesn't come easily to him, so he's a little frustrated, but... Not, not the dancing, I mean in general. Here we are getting everything we always talked about, and our reactions couldn't be more different. Well, they say opposites attract. They also say nothing bonds like common ground, and I feel like we don't have much of that anymore. Sometimes when life gets particularly stressful, we fall out of sync, but as soon as the dust settles, we step right back into our routine with heats. Yes, maybe that's it. Timing. So I don't look like a giant cake? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're stunning. I mean, 10-piece orchestra, 20-piece orchestra, what difference does it make? No difference. I want a band. Then we get a band. You know, some of our new clients might like something a little more fresh. OK, I'll find one, since that seems to be the only way to remotely get what we want for this wedding. I know it feels like a runaway train. Everything's happening so fast. Two more weeks then, and everything will settle down. Of course it will. But I do like this. Being out in the world in the middle of the day. Then we'll do more meetings outside the office instead of having everyone come to us. <laughs> That's fine. I want to talk to you about something. I have a question for you, too. You go first. Are you regretting taking over the company? No, not regretting, per se. I mean, I want it to be hugely successful. But how would you feel if I produced a play? How would that work with the company? I'm not sure. Maybe I could do both. I don't see how. And your business is full time, and so is producing. And if I figure it out a way? I know you love this business. And I love watching you thrive as you take the reins of this company. But 
I feel like I want more. More than an insanely successful brokerage firm? I mean, it's the golden goose, Eric. Let's go in. In the pond? <laughs> in our clothes? Yeah, why not? Because it's crazy and possibly illegal. And people will see us. Don't worry about that. Come on, it'll be fun. It's not really my idea of fun. Let's get back to work. We can go to that little Italian place we love. It's quick and I'll have an hour before my next class. Perfect. How's the dance coming? Mm, it's a work in progress. And so is everything. It's never done. You just stop revising it. What's happening with the loan? I'd find out soon if I was approved. Well, you sound perfectly morose about it. Are you having second thoughts about buying the studio? If I buy it, it's just I don't have time to do anything else. It feels like such a big commitment, so definitive. Do you think I gave up on my dreams too quickly? I think your dream may have changed for a little while, but now it looks like it might be changing back. That happens, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> But what if I dive in and it doesn't work out? When it came to Peter, you took care of yourself and you walked away, not from a place of fear, but from a place of strength. And if I walk away from this, it'll be from a place of fear. Take care of yourself again, whatever that means to you. That was incredible. You think? I mean, it's better when my partner's not imaginary, but... You dance circles around him. <laughs> it's nice, creating like this again. You know, you light up when you dance like that. Well, I guess that's what happens when you do what you love. I can't believe you beat me. I gotta get out on that course more. You literally golfed six days a week since you retired. <laughs> oh, keeping busy helps us not to micromanage you and Adriana. Please. I know you still get updates on my daily financials. Oh, that's only because I have a vested interest. It's not to interfere. You're doing a fabulous job, the two of you. But then again, you were trained by the best. <laughs> hey, that'll be you soon. I'd like to see how your life is falling into place. Dad, when did you decide you wanted to work on Wall Street? I don't think I ever really decided. My father always said everyone in this family works, and so I did. There were no handouts, no trust funds. That's why you were never handed anything either. Come on, I had a top-notch education paid for by you. Paid for with sweat equity. You worked for it from the time you were 15. Now, this company is your trust fund. But what if you'd wanted to do something else? It was nothing else. My father handed me a, a gift, this company. I'm sure we all have hobbies. I like to play golf, but I'm, I'm not about to join the PGA Tour. Senior PGA Tour. <laughs> no, 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 this, this is our place in the world, Eric, our contribution. I've handed you my legacy as my father handed it to me. It's an honor. So be proud of it and serve it with care, huh? Cheers. Cheers. Lift? Yeah. You wanna try? Yes. Like that? Lovely. <laughs> Your work lights up a room. Well, you know, it's all I ever wanted to do. I understand. And as hard as it is to hang up my hat, it's evident to me I'm ready. When it's time to let go, it's revealed to you. I know you're still waiting to hear from the bank, but the other offer, they're putting pressure on me for an answer. I'm gonna need one by Friday. 
I'll call the bank for an update. Thanks. And this is where the cocktail hour will take place. String quartet, past hors d'oeuvres, and three well-staffed bars around the perimeter. I promised you one for the books, and I am delivering. Now let's keep moving. We've got a little more than a week before the big day. Now, they will expand the dance floor to accommodate so many guests. Horseshoe-shaped head table over there and tables of 12 throughout the rest of the room. And here is where your orchestra sits. Band. I'll make sure you I'm sorry? We're having a band, not an orchestra. Have you chosen yet? I've been watching some videos online, but mostly everybody's booked already. I'm getting down to the wire here. I know a great one. They really only do weddings for me as a favor. You two, come by in the morning while they're setting up. I won't be there yet, but I'll tell them to give you a little sample. I can't. Quarterly earnings come in tomorrow, but you choose without me, Eric. I trust your taste in music. Okay. I'll drop by after my dance lesson, then. Wonderful. Moving on. We have to pick tablecloths. I have seven shades of blue for you to choose from. Seven shades of blue? Did you know seven, seven shades? shades? Mm -hmm. I agree. Beautiful. That was great. Nice. That's enough for today. We'll finish this up later. Thank you guys so much. Still struggling with the end. I don't know where to go with it. Should they end up together? Do you want people smiling or crying in the end? Do they get what they want in this life or not? Well, people should get what they want, but reality's not always in sync with that. But this is a world you're creating. How do you want this love story to end? I'm gonna think about that and get back to you. All right, enough about me. Let's get to work. Are you okay if we take our lesson on the road? Where to? I was thinking maybe a bit of a practice run is in order. I thought I was the one that was supposed to be changing up the lessons. They're ready. This is such an incredible place to get married. It's gonna be beautiful. They're gonna play a few songs for us. For me. And we're gonna get you used to this dance floor. That's why I brought these terrible shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you remember the steps. I hope they're good. Make this about you, not appearances. Look me in the eyes and be in the moment. Like a river song to give up, 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 crazy love. She gives me love, 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 crazy love. She's got a fine sense of humor when I'm feeling low down. And when I come to her, when the sun goes down. Takes away my trouble, takes away my grief, takes away all of my heartache. Why is it so easy with you and then Adriana comes in and I'm a mess? Like I said, there's no pressure. Yeah. That's probably it. This is Hope. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Got approved for the loan. Looks like you have a decision to make. It's 
five. We have to go. We have a dance lesson and then the cake tasting. I forgot about the cake tasting. This is how we get the wedding we want. We have to be making these decisions together. I pick the band, I pick the flowers. I know, and I'm sorry. But I, I booked an early dinner with Eleanor Green. She might want to leave the firm. She might want to, or she's going to. I don't know, but she's one of my father's oldest clients. I want to keep her happy. You'd do the same. But I don't want to leave you in the lurch. I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot. I think you should do what's most important to you. I need to sit down with Eleanor. Please understand, Eric. I do. I thought Adriana was coming. Is she meeting you here? She's not coming. We haven't had a full rehearsal with the two of you, and time's running out. I know. Yeah, and I'm sorry you changed your schedule around to have an afternoon session with us. It's okay. Um, we could just rehearse with the two of us, or if you're not feeling like it, we could just call it a day. Yeah, you know what? Let's just call it a day. Are you hungry? Famished, actually. Good. Yeah, I know just the place. Mm -hmm. The New Yorker and the Princess Lily. I can safely say this is the first time I've had seven different types of cake for dinner. Oh, not me. <laughs> I like this one and that one. Not that one. Adriana hates coconut. Uh, definitely the dolce de leche. How am I supposed to pick just one? They will let you have all of them. Each layer can be a different flavor. Are you sure about that? I happen to know that for a fact. Wow. You did get pretty far down the road with your wedding plans, didn't you? And I learned a lot in the process. For example, deposits are non-refundable, and there's really no other appropriate occasion for a custom wedding dress. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. This is supposed to be fun, right? Planning a wedding, getting married? So I hear. So what made you walk away? Was there a final incident or something? Mm, not one thing in particular, but I always said I wanted to get married once, and I take that very seriously. Me too. As I got deeper into the wedding planning, I realized this is my once. Oh, and of course it wasn't. <laughs> it's easier to see that now, but it's tough when you're in it. And there were some good aspects to the relationship. They were just outnumbered. Did you ever have any regrets? Not once. Well, I did offer to pay my dad back for the venue deposit. I do regret that a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's try the other ending. should end up together. I think so. I mean, give this poor couple what they want. We should all be so lucky, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, you heard the man. Let's do this ending. Thank you. Thank you. So, the loan paperwork is in, and I have to make a decision now. I mean, if I dive back into the choreography full force, then I'm doing it. But that means I have to let go of plan B. I don't have enough time to do both. So be it. Hope, this is what you love. Do you know how lucky you are to know what you want? Not many people have that kind of clarity. That next hand might be a royal flush. You're still here. Did you tell the parents the recital costumes will be in next week? I did. Great. Um, do you have a minute? Yeah. Yeah, of course. 
You're not buying the studio. How'd you know? I've known all along. I was just waiting for you to realize it. Now that I'm choreographing again... It's a leap worth taking. I will accept the other offer. And I will tell them it comes with an incredible teacher, <laughs> at least until her big opportunity comes. And it will come, whether it's this week or next year. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me, Sophia. It's my pleasure, Hope. I can't wait to watch you soar. <laughs>beautiful job, Hope. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I have two more pieces to see today, but you'll hear from me by tonight either way. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> that was incredible. It felt incredible. I don't want to go back to the office. I really don't want to go back to the studio. Okay, well, let's go for a walk. To the park? I have a better idea. Wow, I wish I could do this every single working day. Take the time to walk the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, you occasionally have a good idea. <laughs> occasionally, huh? <laughs> you know, I was kind of dreading my dance lessons. No. <laughs> Believe it. But then being out of the office so much, I really started looking forward to them. I told you I'd make a dancer out of you. Whoa, let's not overshoot. <laughs> you know, but all of this has kind of made me look at the world differently. I mean, I danced in a pond in Central Park. You danced well in a pond in Central Park. Uh, well. <laughs> so what does Adriana think of this new you? It feels like Adriana and I aren't on the same page. Well, we started dating in our 20s, and it's been on this fast track ever since. But I thought getting to this point would feel different. I thought I'd be excited, and I'm not. Well, you two have a lot going on, and sometimes when life gets really stressful, 
It's hard to see the light, but it does come back. It didn't with you and your fiance. Well, that's different. I mean, we weren't right for each other. Does this maybe have something to do with the play? What do you mean? I hear the tone of your voice when you talk about it. Oh yeah? How does it sound? It sounds inspired. You know, there's a royal flush in your deck too. Got a minute? We can finish this later. Mm, thanks, Gab. Are you okay? I need to talk to you about something. Okay. I've been thinking a lot about the company. You don't want this anymore. I knew it. Our clients deserve more. And you deserve a better business partner. Someone whose heart is in it just as much as yours, if not more. You and I both know Gavin is far better suited for this than I am. Say something. I want you to be happy. I know that. And I also know this is a lot to take in. So what are you thinking of doing? For starters, producing that play. <sighs> One of the riskiest investments around. Not this time. You should read it. It's, it's gonna be worth it. I don't have time to read, Eric. I have a company to run. How is this going to look to our clients? What does your father think of this? I haven't told him yet. I wanted to talk to you first. Come on. Things aren't gonna be that different. I don't know how you can say that, Eric. This changes everything. So determined today. Uh, gotta keep moving. Vanessa said she was making her decision last night and I have heard nothing. Well, don't read too much into it. She said she'd tell you either way, so no news means no news. But I can't believe you didn't ask me to come for moral support. Eric offered and I accepted. Okay, I am not even gonna say a word. Good, because he's getting married. But what I will say- ah, is I knew you couldn't help yourself. I just feel like maybe this is the first time since Peter that you're ready to move on. Listen, I don't know what I'm doing with my life, personally or professionally, but for the first time in a while, I'm okay with that. You're up. Hi, Dad. Sorry I'm late. Mr. Lewis had some questions about changes to his portfolio. <laughs> some things never change. Still reading the journal even in your retirement, huh? Old dog, new tricks and all of that nonsense. You can get that information online now, you know. I like the feel of a real newspaper in my hands, ink on my fingertips. So tell me, what do you need to talk about that's so important? I have to skip the back nine. Uh, could we speak privately in my office? <clears throat> it's about the company. I don't think I'm the man for the job. Adriana, absolutely, but me... I wouldn't hand you the company if I didn't think you could handle it. I can handle it. But the problem is... I don't want to. Look, this is new and it's a big responsibility. I understand that that can be intimidating. I'm not intimidated. Well, then what's the problem? It's not what I want to do with my life. How do you know? you barely just begun. It doesn't make me happy. Because it's work. No one's job makes them happy every minute of the day. I get that, Dad, but there's this opportunity for me. A more creative path I really want to pursue. Eric, we have made assurances to our clients that Gunderson and Grimes would continue 
to be Gunderson and Grimes. And now, two months in, you want to walk? I know I made a commitment to you, to Adriana, to the clients. And what does Adriana have to say? She just wants me to be happy. You've barely scratched the surface. You have to give it more time, at the very least, to give our clients a chance to adjust to all of these changes. This is our legacy, whether you're at the helm or not, and we have to handle it with care. You're right. What if I give it a year, then? Good. Give it a year, smooth the transition. Hey, you never know. You might change your mind, huh? Who knows? Oof, not too much longer. <laughs> Your life's gonna be like one big vacation oh, soon enough. Yes. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Vanessa. Uh-huh. My passport is up to date. Yes. I'm in. I can't wait, and thank you so much for believing in me. Okay, I'll see you Friday. You got it. I'm going to London. Ah! Friday? You only have three days. You better get started packing. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Adriana's meeting us here in a few. Uh, is this considered business casual in the dance world? No. I'm actually leaving. Sophia's gonna do your last two lessons. I just wanted to say goodbye. You, you got it. I got it. Six months in London. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> I am so happy for you. You worked so hard. You took a huge risk, and you made this happen. Yeah, we're doing it. Maybe not me. Not yet. I told Carlos I'm out. I made a commitment to the company. It might be too much all at once for the clients if I left. I'm sorry. I know this meant a lot to you. Yeah, it's not the end. It's just not right now. Soon, maybe. Yeah. You deserve all the best. I hope you know that. You too. And I couldn't be happier for you. So you're going to be in good hands with Sophia for your wedding? Yeah. Yeah, that's coming up in a couple days, too. Sorry, I'm going to miss it. Oh, that's OK. You know, we've got four videographers. I'm sure we'll catch every angle on film. <laughs> I can't wait to watch it. <laughs> Thanks, Hope, for everything. It was truly my pleasure. So I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, yeah, this is goodbye. Thank you. Bye. OK, bye. How many scarves? To London? A hundred. <laughs> They're always wearing scarves in the movies. I am so excited for you. How do you feel? It's all happening so fast, I don't even have time to be nervous. Oh, uh, what time is your flight to London? Do you want me to come to the airport with you? It's at 11 tonight, but my parents are coming to see me off. Aww. They must be so proud of you. <laughs> How was it saying goodbye to Eric? It was fine. I didn't say everything I wanted to, but... What do you mean? His business. I wanted to scream, what are you doing? You don't want this. I just wanted to encourage him the way that he encouraged me. Yeah, but he's gonna have a wife in a few days. And that's her job. Right. And I'm off on a new adventure. Exactly. And this is the first of many shows, Hope. You are on your way. And who knows what the next phase of life will bring. Two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, okay, let's, let's stop. You're young, you're in love, you're about to pledge your lives to each other on Saturday, and you did not look into each other's eyes one time. I know the steps, I get the steps, but 
It just isn't working. Maybe we shouldn't do the dance. Now you tell me this? The spread in the Times has pictures of a rehearsal teasing this big dance, and you want to cancel it? Maybe we just aren't meant to dance with each other. Some people are dancers. <laughs> I've been saying this since April. Okay, <laughs> let's not do anything rash. A wedding is a time that can test one's patience. Maybe we should call it a day and start again tomorrow for our final lesson. You're here. Yeah, I came straight from the airport. I thought you might want to get started right away. <laughs> Thank you again, Vanessa. You're going to stop thanking me when you see how much work we have to do with this accelerated schedule. I am up for the task. I know you are. Let me get that for you. Thanks. Welcome to the Alexander Pope Theater. <laughs> Mind if we have a minute? Yeah, of course. Thanks. You are one of the most important people in my life. You know that, right? Okay. What's going on? I know why there's a disconnect on the dance floor, off the dance floor. Because it's not right. We are not right for each other. We don't speak the same language. We don't want the same things. Then why are we getting married? I don't know. <laughs> You're the most important person on the planet to me, but I'm relieved. It all got so out of hand. I didn't... I didn't want to admit to myself or to you that we were making a mistake. I didn't want to disappoint anyone. I didn't either. We're not getting married. Are you staying with the company? I don't want to do anything to hurt the company. I know this is your dream. You deserve to be happy in work, in life, in love. And so do you. I think I might have a way for us to both get what we want here. I'm listening. <laughs> and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. Really nice run, you guys. Thank you. All right, that's enough for today. Get some rest, everyone. We'll hit it again tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. sharp. <sighs> nice work today, Hope. I love what you've brought to the opening back, too. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Excuse me. My name's not on the list, but... Eric? What are you doing in London? Scouting a bit. 
I heard this was a good one. Though you need better security, anyone can just walk in here. <laughs> what are you talking about? What is going on? A new creative investments division of Gunderson and Grimes. I run it, while Adriana and Gavin run the financial advisory side. That's incredible. Where is Adriana? Shouldn't you guys be on your honeymoon? You see, there's this thing that happened. You know, I, I thought I was doing everything I was supposed to do. You know, marrying the girl I was supposed to marry, following in my father's footsteps. You didn't get married? No. We both agreed it wasn't right. We'd been going through the motions for a while. And so I'm here. Aside from scouting, we're going to be workshopping Carlos's play on the West End. I'll be going back and forth a lot. And then next stop, Broadway, in six months. That's about the same time I go back. Well, what a coincidence. <laughs> you know, it's funny. One day I stepped onto this dance floor, which you know I hate. And everything changed. <laughs> Suddenly I looked forward to dancing. No, you didn't. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Maybe it's just the part where I got to have you in my arms. But also, I found the inspiration I needed because I watched you. And I wanted to thank you for that. Underneath all those layers of obligation and responsibility, I found myself. And it's so clear what I want now. What is that? You. Dance with me. <laughs> I can hear her heartbeat for a thousand miles. And the heavens open up every time she smiles. And when I come to her, that's just where I belong. Yet I'm running to her. Like a river song She give me love, 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 love Crazy love She gives me love, 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 love Crazy love She's got a fine sense of humor When I'm feeling low down And when I come to her When the sun goes down Takes away my trouble, takes away my grief, mm, takes away all of my heartache in the night like a day. She give me love.